YouTube, what is up everyone? So it is now Monday, it's time for me to go into the office. I really hope you guys like that drone footage. <laughs> By the way, I, there's this new app on YouTube that came out, which is kind of crazy. I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but in case you don't, I want to be the first one to let you know, which is kind of interesting. When you go on a YouTube app, but pretty much what it's doing is it's actually tracking how much time you spend on YouTube. It says today, it's only 7 a.m. It says today I've listened to a total of three hours, 37 minutes of YouTube, which is crazy, right? First of all, I was listening to a podcast or music on YouTube last night and I fell asleep with my phone on, all right? So don't hate on me, but check this out. It says the past week, I've watched a total of 37 hours, four minutes of YouTube. And my daily average is five hours, 17 minutes. <laughs> I'm listening to podcasts from Gary V, um, you know, podcasts from like Dave Ramsey and stuff at work all day. So technically it should be more than five hours a day, but that's why, <laughs> but that's crazy, man. Let me know what you spent. Jeez, man, this is not good. All right, I gotta go to work because I wanna talk to you guys about something. So let's go. Alright guys, what is up YouTube? So I'm here at the office right now. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some food, breakfast, and I'll see you guys on my lunch break. Let's go. Alright guys, what's up everyone? The day is almost over right now, but I just figured I'll talk to you guys for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, man, my brain is exhausted right now. I've been coding all day nonstop, trying to um, get this page together, make it mobile friendly. But yeah, anyway, I'm just tired. I just wanna sleep right now, but still have a long night, you know? But that's honestly how it is. I mean, coding is so fun, and I absolutely, you know, my manager came, my boss came to me earlier and just said hi. Or look at the page I was working on and it's fun and I love it and it's so and it's really fun because it's nothing compared to what I did in my last job right not even comparable but um just learning experience but my brain's exhausted it's literally problem solving and fixing things and creating a solution all day I love it but dang I'm tired <laughs> anyway I want to talk to you guys about something real quick right after I'm gonna go back to work code finish and I'll see you guys after you get up Alright guys, what is up YouTube? I really hope this camera is focusing on me. I literally just recorded a video downstairs, but I just realized the auto white balance was off. So I was yellow the entire time, which is not good. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so um, I'm off work right now. It's pretty much the end of the day, everyone's left. And so what I wanna go ahead and talk to you about is really the most important skill I learned at my first developer job. I mean, I've been at this company for about three weeks now, almost ent one entire month. And I'm really seeing that what I learned at my first job is extremely valuable in regards to why I'm able to, from what I've seen so far, succeed here at Entrepreneur Magazine. I mean, it's kind of crazy when I think about it, like working here and I was terrified and I still am, like in regards to, there's so much more I have to do and so much more I have to learn. And compared to what I'm, I need to do with this company, I'm only working on like, let's say maybe 10% of what I will be doing in the future. But it's insane when I think about how like, it, it's it's crazy. Okay, pretty much, man. Before I got hired, I was terrified. I remember when I got the job offer, I was wondering like, should I do it? Should I join this company? Is it is it really worth um, trying to join this company? Because 
I was terrified because I was thinking like, am I ready? I mean, my first job, I was a junior position. I only worked a basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Ajax, JSON. You know, I didn't work on any frameworks except Vue.js and converting things and learning Vue.js there. But when I think about why I'm able to accomplish what I'm doing now here at, at Entrepreneur Magazine, it's honestly pretty insane. When they give me projects, there are things that even I've never worked with. For example, the Twig, is it a framework? Whatever, Twig. I've never worked with Twig before, right? I've never worked with Twig before, but yet for some reason, I'm still able to write in Twig, right? And why? It's because I learned enough on my first developer job to, to be able to code on something I've never coded before. I mean, I worked in PHP for a little bit on my first job, but I forgot everything. But because of what I learned at that company, because of what I learned at my first developer job, when I'm looking at PHP, for some reason I'm able to understand it. Why? Again, it's because of what I learned at my first developer job. And I think this skill that I learned, the most important skill I learned from there, is something that everyone needs to have. You can really see why this is so important because I'm able, because I'm really able to succeed in whatever products they give me. And I remember doubting myself so much, am I ready? And I, I think I am. And I'm very thankful I got this job because I was so worried that what if I start working here and I'm just not good enough for the position. I need to be better, of course. I'm not the best, but I'm very thankful for the opportunity because I'm able to do what I need to do here. And so, okay, I'm gonna go straight to it. What is the most important thing I learned at my first developer job? What is it that I learned at my developer job that's letting me do well, that's helping me, and is the reason why I'm not able to do well here at Entrepreneur Magazine? It is this. It is something that every company needs. And more than just mastering a certain language or a framework or knowing many frameworks, more than just knowing all the languages in the world, right? More than just mastering something and you know, more than just a title that you have or what title you give yourself on LinkedIn or Instagram or whatever. The most important skill that every developer needs, right? The most important skill that every developer needs is not just passion. You need passion to get into it. It's not a willingness to learn. You need to be willing to learn to get into it in the first place. Humility, yes, you could say that's important, right? That's taken into account. I mean, if you don't have the humility, why would a company hire you in the first place? Because you might even ruin the company culture. But the most important thing, that every developer needs to have, which is what I learned at my company, right? Is this. It's the ability to solve problems. And it's not just saying like, you go to a company, you say, tell me what your problems are and I'll be able to fix it for you. I'll be able to solve your problems. I'm not talking about that. What it is that I'm talking about is this. I'm talking about that when you join a company, right? What you need to be able to do is be able to find a way. You have to know how to solve a problem even if you don't know what the problem is yet. You need to be able to know how to look at a website, look at the code and see what it is that you need to be able to do to fix it. And if you don't know how to fix it, you need to be able to know how to Google and research, if not look at other code within the code base and see how you can use that to implement what you need to do. For example, I need to learn how to put an ad after every five rows, after input an ad, right, onto one of our projects. And hopefully I can show you what that project is when it goes live. I had no idea how to do that. So what I do, I Googled it. In a language I've never worked with, which is Twig. I don't know, is that a framework or something? It's kind of crazy, right, just from Googling. Um, and I didn't know how to write the code, that code for the ad, right? So what did I do? I just researched in the database, I looked for where I could find an ad, I looked at how the code was written, and I implemented that code into what I'm working on. That's it, solving problems. And I'm not the best coder in the world. I have a Discord channel where I think more than 50% of the people in there are better than me at coding. I think a lot of people on this YouTube channel who follow me, who look at me as an example, people who don't even have jobs yet, I think they're better than me at coding. They might know more languages than me. But one thing that I'm proud of, and one thing I believe that I'm generally able to do, although I need to get better at it, is that I'm able to solve problems. And not even just that, I look forward to solving problems. I enjoy solving problems. And then when I solve that problem, I get this high that I can't even explain because you accomplish something that not many people can do in the world, except you, except me. That is what you need to be able to do. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So let me know in the comment section below if I can answer any of your questions or what I could talk about in my next videos. If you can, like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, or just leave me a comment and show me some love. This is Krishan, this is a LifeWeb developer, and I'm out. Peace.